we build up our intuition about the world from our everyday experiences, from those experiences that we encounter in daily life. I was in Central Park just a couple weeks ago, and I was watching a little boy sail a boat in the model boat lake. Watching him sail this boat, I understood the basic physics that was involved making the boat sail along. And underneath it, I could recognize that there are molecules making up the boy and the boat. There are atoms making up the molecules. There are subatomic particles, electrons and quarks making up the atoms themselves. But we are catching a glimpse that maybe underneath the molecules and atoms and particles, there's another layer of reality that's coming to light. It's a layer that's based on information. Maybe, as a physical system moves, for instance, the fact that the object was here and now is over here can be realized in this information theoretic sense by the zeros and ones trailing behind it changing by virtue of that object having once been there and now having moved on. Maybe we should describe reality in terms of how that information, the zeros and ones that make up the boy or the boat, how those zeros and ones evolve over time. Maybe that's what physics is really about. If this idea is correct, it would mean that going forward, we should change the language that we've used to formulate physics. Instead of particles and the laws that govern how they behave, it should be bits and bytes and algorithms describing how they change over time, a completely different way of looking at the universe.